Hey, it's Silly Come Baby, and I am actually just going over some clothes that I had in a bag that I'm going to be purging either to Goodwill or Once Upon a Child or something like that. I usually do this two or three times a year at least and get rid of tons of stuff. Mostly this is shoes, but I did have some outfits in here and some little pieces of clothing and some outfits that I wanted to give away. This is kind of cute. It has a little checkered design with monkey pockets, which are actual pockets. So look at that. That's cute. I thought I would spend some time with y'all today. It's Sunday and it's a gloomy outside. The kids are actually outside on the uh, porch playing. They have their little umbrellas in case it starts to rain. It's not thundering or lightning or anything. It's just we might get some showers. And I wanted to, to just hang out with you guys. Something to do today. I'm trying to make a little, few more videos with my new phone. It, it's a lot easier to record when you don't have to like edit everything, you know. Of course, I just made a five-minute video and the phone rang, so it canceled everything out. <coughs> Excuse me. It didn't cancel everything out, but it stopped my video, so to start over because I don't have a way to edit it together. Whereas with iMovie, when I had my iPhone, I could just piece it together in iMovie on my phone. But I do not know of and I do not have an editing program for my videos for my Galaxy. So if anyone knows of one, please let me know. And it has to be a video editing, not photo editing. And I have to be able to piece together different clips. Although I like the pause feature, it still doesn't allow me to piece videos together if need be, like now. Okay, so here's one that I'm going to get rid of. It's a little 4th of July, brand new, a newborn. I have so many red, white, and blue things that there's like no, I have no use for that. And then this was one I got at Target. Looks like Banjo got a hold of the tag. He used to love chewing up tags. He still kind of does, but paid fourteen dollars for it. Brand new, never, never worn by one of the babies. I'm gonna have some Zutano lavender. Those would go really cutely on um, Tayanor if I had a shirt to go with it. I do have this, but it's huge. It would fall off of her shoulders, I'm sure. It's cute though. Matches nice. I might give those together. And then here's one. It says Daddy's Little Princess. It's a nine month. This was originally for my Tegan, my first girl, I think. Um, the one called Rowan. If you guys have been with my channel a while, you'll know who I'm talking about. Same as this. This is like a nine month. It's really cute. But it's going bye bye. Here's a cupcake one. I'm not in, I love cupcakes, like, to eat, but I do not like them so much on, for decoration, like, for clothing and stuff. <laughs> okay, and this is cute. I think it came with a, either a three-pack or a three-piece outfit. It can go with these little pants. These aren't the ones that go with it. They have a little duck on them. But they're, uh, I'm not sure what brand that is. Some little miscellaneous bloomers. And then a little top. I think this has a... That would be cute if it had a little bloomer that was gray with white stripes to go with the, the bra. I think it was just yellow. And I had a hat. It has an outfit that goes with it, but I don't know what happened to it. It's somewhere upstairs, probably. There's some white bloomers. And then we have this cute little one by Lullaby Club. It's a little white linen top with a slip and then the little pants. And then there's like a, a really big hat. It was huge on all my babies so I don't have a use for it. Actually almost could fit my head. <laughs> it does. And then a um, little tank top. Pantaloons. That. I know some of my clothing people that love clothing here, like I, 
like to see baby clothes. So I figured y'all might want to spend some time with us today and go through some of our spring cleaning of clothes. Lots of shoes. Lots and lots and lots of shoes. This is one of those gigantic JC Penny bags. It's half full of shoes here. I mean, it's absurd how many I have. I haven't used like any of them. So I'm going to find a home for those. Like these. I'm not into the animal print so much. So those are going. Probably today. My shoe or my shoes. Here's some little satins. Some little cute ones. Some little big girl boots. These are like a size one. Or two. No, they're size one. They're tiny. Look at those. Those would be cute for for Easter coming up. I may hold on to those, but probably not. And then I had some like <clears throat> let's see. I had these. In my purge pile but I think I'm going to keep this skirt is really nice and it's a newborn size but it will fit Taynor this will fit her nicely I think because she's right about a three month I've heard of course their sizing is different from ours here in the US but um you know that'll be cute for her for New Year's and then um, Sage will can wear that she looks really good with in black clothing like black and silvers and pinks and stuff so I think I think I'll save that for her and more. oh this is really cute you know I think I originally got this from once upon a child it's a little frilly frilly tutu with satin so nice Some real cute shoes here. I may keep a couple more pairs of these because I bought, you know, I bought Taya some clothes yesterday, and some of these shoes may go with it. And then these are cute. I I bought these for, um, you know, I think I bought these for Latham because he had such cute feet. Or I don't know. I bought these either for Latham or Callan. I think Latham. We've had them for a while. Some of these shoes I bought for Gareth, but you know, his feet, I couldn't really get shoes on him. Like these, these I actually bought for Callan, I think. Those might be cute for my Wyatt sculpt. But actually, I'm probably going to just get rid of all these. Oh, these I originally got for Gareth. Aren't they cute? I got them at Target two and a half years ago before I even got Gareth. And then there's some little kids with their gap, actually. They're not kids, they're gap. <laughs> Those are cute. They're just too cute. I just love baby shoes. But I have way too many. Aw, these were Gareth's, I think. They did not fit him. They're like really like tight right here and then I couldn't even get his heel to go in it. It's so weird. These were for Oh, I know who these were for. Um I think they were for Nikolai, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> Trying to find some really cute ones. We got oh here's some bunnies for Easter. Here's some gold with pearls. Never used these. These are were too big for my babies. They're size zero, but you could fit a size one or two foot in there. Huge. Once Upon a Child is just an awesome place to get shoes. These actually, I did not get from there. I think these came with one of my babies. I think one that Vivi sent, the Pippin, I believe. But they were huge on her. And then I had like every pair of these little soft moccasin style shoes. Like I have, I have, um, 
some bunnies, butterflies, elephants, more butterflies. Oh my gosh, I have every pair. Uh, ducks, flowers. They're just so cute. But I got all of those at once upon a child. Except the new ones, of course, I got from Babies R Us. They're Heidi Klum. And I got some John Deere boots. They're so cute. I never got to put them on a baby. They're still connected. These were huge. I actually bought these for Heidi, my toddler, my reborn toddler. The one with the blonde hair. My little uh, Ariana sculpt. Oh, here's some humongous pants. These were for Rowan, I believe. And they were even too big for her. I didn't even try them on because they looked huge on her. And look at these. These I bought for... I think, you know, if you guys have been with me this whole time on my channel, I bought these for um, Lachlan. She was my Camille sculpt. And I really, really love that sculpt. But the one that I had, she was done well, but she was done like a peaches and cream. And she did not have any mottling. She just had a little bit of blushing and... Um, you know me, I really like detail in my babies, and she looked more, she looked really real, but she also kind of looked like a doll just because of her coloring. Look at these, they look like bowling shoes, <laughs> baby bowling shoes, they crack me up. Got really hard soles, and they're like real hard leather. I may keep those, they kind of remind me of the baby Wyatt. And no, I'm not telling you his name yet. As soon as he gets home, I will. Or maybe when he's on his way. I haven't heard anything about him, so I have no idea when he'll be here. I'm focusing on Taya right now, anyway. Oh, and I even have some of these with dachshunds on them. How cute. Those are so cute. They just really don't fit the babies that well because most of them are sculpted to where their heel, you know, it's not as pronounced. So... Their foot just kind of slips out of it. It doesn't, like, hook back into the heel at all. And those shoes are kind of funky anyway. And how they're made. Let's see here. Here's some little tweet birds. Super cute. I really like these. I don't know if these would fit Taya, but they probably will fit Ebony. I may hold on to those some tea. Black patent leather. Every girl needs black patent leather shoes with pink lining, which I have a pair already. <laughs> and these are little, um, little baby business shoes. Look at that. They're kind of ugly. I have no idea why I bought them. These are those, those little cheapy sandals, brand new, never been worn. Of course. These have the skull and crossbones on them, and glitter. I don't want those, I'm not into that anymore. These were actually Lachlan's and Heidi's. So cute. It's fun going through old stuff. It's like, it's like, why did I buy some of this stuff? Like these, these are loafers. They're cute and all, and they're really comfy looking, but it's like, who needs another pair of pink shoes? I've got like 12 already, probably. And these, of course, I had two or three pair of those. I gave two pair away already. I have some white ones, too. I gave those up long time ago. And these still have the plastic things in them. They were little uh, crib shoes for Tuesday. I think I could keep them for Tuesday, but her feet are too small for those. And then these are another pair of pink shimmery ballet shoes. They're cute, but they, they're hard to fit these dolls. 
Trust me, I have tried every possible pair of shoes you can try on a doll, and their foot is just not made the same as a real baby. And I thought these were cute. They have a little puppy inside. Not that you would be able to see it, but... I mean, on someone's foot. You wouldn't be able to see it on their foot, you know. But it's cute. Okay, so... Thanks for hanging out with me. I just wanted to share my time with you for a little while. Hope everyone has a good Sunday, and we'll talk to you soon. I'm going to go up and start organizing the drawers again. It's like... I'm obsessed with organizing them, getting them perfect, and then redoing it a few months later. That's just how I do it. <laughs> Talk to you later.